Hello Proton 6. Today we will study about decimal division word problems. Here is an example. A ribbon is 2.4 meters in length. How many presents can be wrapped using the ribbon if its present requires 0.8 meters of ribbon? First, you will formulate the numbers and bits. So, the question is asking that there is a certain length of ribbon and we need to divide it by the number of presents. So, 2.4 divided by 0.8. 2.4 divided by 0.8 is equal to a square first because we do not know the answer yet. And then you are asked to show the working. So, to do the working, always remember that you need to give importance on the numbers that you can see in the problem. Here, the first number that you can see is 2.4. Therefore, you will write that on your first statement. That a ribbon is 2.4. Long. And then, one present, the next number you could see is 0 0.8. So, one present needs 0 0.8 meter of ribbon. Then, the question says, how many presents can be wrapped? using the ribbon. So how many present? Therefore, on our third statement, we will answer the question. Here, there will be. We use will because we are working on that. There will be, and here, write the number sentence, 2.4 divided by 0 0.8 meters, uh, 0 0.8 presents. Then, you can use another sheet of paper, but here I will show you. 2.4 divided by 0 0.8. If the decimal, if the divisor has a decimal point, you cannot divide it. You need to move the decimal point to the right of the non-zero digit. Here, I will need I will move the point to the right of A one time. And so I will also move the decimal point here one time also. Now our decimal point is already there. Then we can now here we don't have any more decimal point, we can now divide. 24 divided by 8 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. No more. Therefore, the answer is 3 presents. So, why presents? Why the label is presents? You look at the Question, how many? So from the top one, I told you, cross out how many. The next word is usually the label, the label, label of your answer. Okay? Now, there is another thing to end your book A because next week you will use book B. Is mixed operations involving decimals. Here we have multiplication, we have addition, and we have division. First, we will do these numbers inside the parentheses 2.85 times 1.4. 4 times 5 is 20, carry 2. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34, carry 3. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11. Write here 0. 
Then 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. And then add 0. 4 plus 5 is 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then after that, count the number of decimal places on our multiplicand and on the multiplier. Here, point, point, one, two, three. There are three. So on our answer, we will also count from the right. One, two, three, and there is your point. Therefore, here is 3.990 or just 3.99. They are the same. And then we will do the next. Uh, numbers inside the parentheses. Here we have 4.9 divided by 0 0.07. Again, we cannot divide. We need to move the decimal point first to the right of the first non-zero digit. Here, 1, 2. We move the decimal point two times on the divisor. Therefore, on our dividend, we will also move the decimal point two times. But you can see there's no number here. So we will write there zero. And our decimal point is here now. Then, no more uh, decimal point. Sorry for my hands because of the ink. It's uh, here. We don't have decimal point anymore. We could divide. Here, 4 divided by 7 cannot because 4 is smaller than 7. So we will make it 49. 49 divided by 7 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. And then we still have one, one number here. Bring it down. 0 divided by 7 is 0. 0 times 7 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Therefore, the answer here is 70. Not finished yet. Here, 3.99. There, 70. Then, we already found the answers of the numbers inside the parentheses. Then we will add. So here, we have 3.99 or 3.990 plus 70. 70 and point here. So when you are adding decimal numbers, again, make sure that the decimal points are aligned straight here also. So bring down 0, bring down 9, bring down 9. 3 plus 0 is 3 and bring down 7. Therefore, the final answer is 73.990. And for your homework, please answer students' book pages 171 and 172.